So the Common Book Project at UCLA started more than 10 years ago now when my sister gave me this book. It's Tracy Kidder's Mountains Beyond Mountains. And she knew that I would love it because I had just gotten back from India. I'd been on a research trip and I was searching for artists who were trying to intervene in the AIDS epidemic in India. And she knew I'd be interested in this because it's about a medical doctor, Dr. Paul Farmer, who has been intervening in all kinds of illnesses, especially HIV in Haiti. So she gives me the book and I completely love it and I passed it along to the RD, the resident director, Bridget Collier, who was working in Hedrick Summit with me. I was a faculty and residence person. And she was going off to China. I handed it to her as she was going to the plane. And she came back a week later and we had the same glint in our eyes, which is to say that we were thinking at the same time, this is so good that we want to share it. Let's share it with our residents, the thousand and some people in Hedrick Summit. So we, we cut a deal with the Office of Residential Life. Uh, they were willing to help to finance the book for that many copies, that many people. And we created what was called that year, the Global Summit. Uh, and it was an amazing experience. So many students were really taken by this material. They were interested in global issues. They were interested in health professions. Uh, they were drawn into the characters. Paul Farmer is a really interesting person. Uh, it gave them a chance to think about what it means to be so obsessed about something and care so deeply about it that it could actually upset your personal life. And the resident assistants in the hall were in charge of the discussions. And so as a result, the Office of Residential Life decided that the next year we would do it for the whole hill. And that was the official beginning of the Common Book Project. It was 2009 and 10. The sign for me that something really extraordinary had happened was that that very year, by sad coincidence, Haiti experienced a horrible earthquake. It was 2010. And most of uh, Port-au-Prince, the capital city, was destroyed in the process. And the students, because they'd been reading about Haiti and had become involved in the, the lifeblood, the, the culture of Haiti, and of concern for Haiti, immediately put themselves together came up with an idea for a cultural program and raised thousands of dollars for Partners in Health, which is the organization run by Paul Farmer in Haiti. That for me really brought it around full circle. It showed me that by reading together that we could learn to take action together. And ultimately, I think that's what the Common Book Project is all about.